Quý cho. Ông chúng ta phải cảm ơn to cái chấm nào cái thì sẵn mà cả hay chấm to từ ní. Sống bắt đầu bị cả chút từ cầu mới bị cả bị cây lục nôn chía đang bị bị đau cả chơi to từ nâng sụp núa mùi chấm luôn đại bẹ phòn nâng cầu mới bị cả cả bị cái đấy đại ông nhầm ra sau này sống ở vừa cái chơi to sống chơi mà. Thank you, Mr. President. Your Honours. May the way to pay some akun lokutien lokusaja pram. We shall be brief today, Mr. President. Alok lokusai tang ok nyam nung sangkai pet ngai ni. We have no submissions or observations at this point on which specific paragraphs that don't include the closing paragraph to be added to the scope of the trial. So, no specific submissions in respect of paragraph two of the memorandum of trial chamber. So, no specific submissions in respect of in respect of paragraph three, we reiterate what we have argued yesterday. We argue that we are going to have a discussion with the witnesses and 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 the witnesses. Whose evidence is reasonably expected to touch upon any new issues? So soon, the lawyer will have to make a scope of case zero zero two. Should in our view be delayed? So we have to wait for sufficient to allow all parties to adjust their preparations. Concretely, Mr. President, that means that the questions raised by the trial chamber. ហ៊ុនតែពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំពំ
the pace has considerably slowed down. Actually, you hope to be fully fit uh, as soon as possible. It seems that he is recuperating in the, in, in the period of recovery that stands for the human right as much as usually four to six weeks. And once he is fully recovered, he anticipates to be fully participate. I'm move on now, Mr. President, to answering the points raised. As you know, when he was in this might be the case in respect of S21, if that is indeed going to be a decision. It's not very likely that he's going to waive if that question arises substantially S21 witnesses. And I think our view is that we will cross the bridge when we get there. In addition, what I could say is that, and it's also replying a little bit to points raised by the co-prosecutor yesterday, in August we have come up with a list of 31 potential witnesses in the event that S21 is added to the scope of the trial. We are currently reviewing this list. And it's not unlikely that the number of witnesses on that list will be brought down. But it was simply not possible to 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 come up with come up with a definite answer in this respect because we haven't been able to speak to our clients at this specific point because of the fact that it was brought back to prison. We only had limited time to speak to them, but we will get back to this issue. But of course. Reiterating that in our view, the last one should not be part of an extension of the scope of the trial at all. But if it does, we will come up with a review of the witnesses fairly soon after the decision. Mr. President, I have a question. I'll move up, Mr. President, to the last. Point of paragraph four. That is the admission into evidence of case zero zero one transcripts concerning S21. If we will contest the admission of those transcripts that depends on our view, of course, on which particular evidence is contained within the transcripts. We are fully aware of your decision, and we will review the particular evidence that is related to the transcripts, and we will object if necessary. Thank you. 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 Good morning, Mr. President. 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 What impact the what we hear from the doctor will have on the scheduling or the scope of the trial? Our position is first we have to have the medical report 
you have to have the medical reports. ពីឬក៏បីសម្បដាអស្ពេសឡី Closing order that will not be tried to some other day or a year. After, after, after that you uh, make your judgment. So I would say that it's more likely to come up with a money. And I am of the opinion, or we are the opinion, that we want a reasoned decision. 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 ហេតុផលគឺងាយទេក្នុងការចេញសេចក្តីសម្រេចគ្រាន់ដែរអស់ ដូច្នេះចំណុចត្រង់នេះគឺថាមិនបានមិនមែនជាកម្រិតជាប់ល្អទេមេត្តាវិការពាក្យក្តីមិនបានដឹងសាទុកខ្ញុំតោះទៅ
to sever. មិនមានអ្វីគួរឲ្យឆ្ងល់ទេគឺថាត្រូវតែពិនិត្យមើលទៅលើសេចក្តីសម្រាប់ចំណោតតុលាការកំពូលឲ្យបានមត់ចត់
Caution to the wind. Disregarding the age of the accused, thinking we had, this was going to be a walk in the park for the next two or three years. Only to come to find out that there was a wake-up call by the trial chamber that one of the factors is that we might need to tie this case to the stages because of the age. So, I would suggest that we try to tie the case, we start there's no need for you to come up with any plans. There's no need to jettison any of the civil parties who will be abandoned after all the rights to register as civil parties after all the pre-trial changes to have to get them reinstated after they were thrown out. Some of them were by the OCIJ. So, that's the solution. But we have to go forward. And, you know, we're told that we're going to try this case uh, with a limited amount of witnesses, a limited amount of time, and, uh, I sort of hesitate to answer this particular question in the way it's framed, but you see, uh, the trial chamber seems to be inviting us for our opinion. And I'm reminded, I'm reminded of Mark Twain, the great American Mark Twain, the novelist, commented about statistics and the use of statistics. He was only talking about how many witnesses, how many days, how much time, he was talking about statistics. And this was his observation on statistics. There are statistics, there are damn statistics, and then there are lots. Now what did he mean by that? What he meant was, when we're dealing with numbers, the statistics, they're valuable. They're easy to manipulate. They're easy to interpret. And there's statistics of 11 days. Maybe 11 actual weeks. When it comes to the case, there's no need to be prepared. 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 There's no need to be the 11-day projection of the prosecution had already informed the trial chamber when the prosecution at the very end had asked for additional expansion of the scope. This was not a figure that we just heard for the first time or that you heard. This was not a figure that we just heard for the first time or that you heard. Now, frankly, I cannot believe that the trial chamber did not see that figure, did not factor that figure into its own accounting and perhaps did not see that figure. And perhaps with the knowledge of what is at stake, how do we scratch the heads, the judges, said, something doesn't sound right. Eleven days sounds really good to me, too short. And a week would be too unrealistic. And so that's why I'm reminded of Mark Twain's characterization of statistics. I think it is a very unrealistic ground if if we're going to rely on this 11-day projection, everything will be happening and solved in 11 days, especially if we bring in all sorts of stuff coming in from other cases or other papers or other transcripts, which we are on record, we will oppose. So, to answer the questions, uh, the projections we've already indicated uh, as far as you know, how many days each of these witnesses, these are what I would call known unknowns. That's how I would call a phrase from Rumsfeld uh, that I wanted to, the former Secretary of Defense. Uh, from the United States said that there are known unknowns and there are unknowns and they were in one of those known unknowns. I know that I don't know. And neither do you, Your Honors. 
ແລະຄົນຕ້ອງໄປລຸກກໍຄັດຍາກອດນຶງບັນຍາກອດນຶງບັນຍາກອດນຶງບັນຍາກອດນຶງບັນຍາກອດນຶງບັນຍາກອດ
bien évidemment, nous sommes bah, euh, entièrement d'accord euh, avec euh, pas ce point. Euh, Les confrères de deux autres équipes nous euh, disent plus vous jugez la totalité de l'ordonnance de clôture, plus vous jugerez rapidement. Sur ce point, je suis d'accord sur le principe, mais c'est pour ça que je dis hier que c'est ce qu'il aurait fallu faire probablement dès le départ. Ça peut être un petit peu plus pragmatique. Je prends en considération le fait que ce procès a commencé depuis un an et demi. Je prends en considération justement la question de la santé et le fait que ก็เลขาธิการเพื่อให้ทําลายนโยบายของกระทรวงคมนาคมของกระทรวงคมนาคมของกระทรวงคมนาคมของกระทรวงคมนาคมของกระทรวงคมนาคมของกระทรวงค
sur euh, lequel nous sommes en train de voir sa d'être un David Chandler. Elle a été entendu euh, sur la totalité du dossier. Euh, je le conteste. Euh, je le souviens euh, très bien que, que euh, lorsqu'il est venu à cette barre, euh, Mme Cartwright a commencé euh, dès le départ euh, son audition par indiquer euh, euh, à cet expert euh, quel, était, quel était le champ du procès. Je l'ai vérifié, quel était le champ du procès, euh, du premier procès, euh, pour signifier à cette personne euh, euh, que euh, eh bien, il devait se focaliser euh, sur l'habitude euh, que vous aviez donnée dans votre ordonnance de disjonction. Euh, Donc, euh, cet tout à fait erroné, de même euh, euh, celui de qui consiste à David Chandler, euh, nous avons déjà averti de ce que les experts euh, Becker et Schott euh, devraient être entendus sur la totalité de l'ordre de clôture. Je vais juste citer un mémorandum que vous avez émis le 8 janvier 2013 dans lequel vous nous disiez la partie, c'est le document E236 de la fraction 4, que les auditions de Short et Becker, qui étaient prévues initialement pour 5 jours, ne le seraient plus que pour 4 jours. Et euh, vous encouragez les parties à limiter leur question au seul point relevant de son procès dans le cadre de on voit bien que toutes ces difficultés qui surgissent au fur et à mesure de du procès de continuer nous causer à tous des préjudices et que poser les fondements de procès de continuer à pour ensuite obliger les manifestations des uns des autres et revenir sans cesse sur des points ces observations valent bien sûr, je le précise également, pour un éventuel témoin, c'est une position générale. Nous estimons qu'il faut attendre votre décision complète sur l'avenir pour commencer à entendre des témoins. Question suivante, 4-1 sur ce que nous faisons de la prévision du temps par les procureurs. On a assez dit hier à notre opinion à cet égard, nous rejoignons votre opinion, c'est pourquoi comment ces prévisions sont faites, est-ce que nous tiennent compte de notre opinion nos interventions aux uns et aux autres. C'est que la cuisine, mais ça n'est pas que ce ne sont pas des prévisions qui sont suffisamment explicitées pour que nous puissions tenir compte de quelques contredisques de prévisions qui avaient été données en août 2012. Monsieur le Président, vous l'avez rappelé tout à l'heure, le procureur, lorsque vous l'avez opposé, c'est un président qui est-ce que nous sommes prêts à renoncer aux questions suivantes On parle de la question suivante par rapport à votre droit d'être présent au procès. Bien évidemment, la réponse est négative à cette question. Et enfin, est-ce que nous contesterions l'admission des transcrits du premier procès 001 si elle est demandée par le procureur qui est signé son délai de 11 jours. Euh, la réponse est évidemment euh, positive, comme nous l'avons dit, nous examinerions et nous contesterions si nécessaire. Nous examinerions 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 si 
ហើយ Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'll be very brief. First, in regards to the issues raised regarding the uh, health of the accused, uh, let me say that I appreciate very much Mr. Cope's candor regarding health of his clients. Um, I think that is in line, I, I had assumed uh, after thinking about yesterday that if the defense were proposing to this chamber that it hear the entire, entire charge of case 002, uh, that it was likely that their view that was that their clients were at least currently fit and likely to be fit for the uh, immediate future in any event. Uh, and uh, we certainly uh, uh, his, uh, his candor on that issue. Um, and, and not just on that, uh, let me add, it, it's refreshing um, to, have, uh, to hear respectful and clear <coughs> submissions coming from <coughs> his chair in the courtroom. Uh, while we may disagree on the substance of them, um, we, we do appreciate uh, uh, the, uh, the change uh, that uh, is taking place. And I would add, uh, I appreciate also his an indication that they would review the uh, 31 witnesses that they had proposed. And uh, I would add, I hope the same wisdom that led him to change his position on severance uh, yesterday uh, would also uh, apply his review of the witnesses that have been proposed. We do disagree uh, with all the defense teams on this issue of whether uh, the chamber should proceed with witnesses pending its decision. មុនទីដោយដោយរងចាំនៅក្តីសម្បត្តិសិនវាទីអ៊ីងស្រីគឺបានបញ្ជាក់ថាអង្គជំនុំជម្រះគួរបន្តចាប់ផ្ដើមស
time proposal. Uh, on the one hand, he has stated over and over again the importance of having a specific plan and schedule for going forward. But when we give a specific proposal on how to go forward, he quotes Mark Twain. And I did not hear any counter proposal from him. I did not hear him say, we actually need more time with any of these particular witnesses. I did not hear that from any of the party. But this is, your, this is within your power and authority. We have made a proposal of the time that we believe is necessary for those witnesses. Uh, we believe it's consistent with the time that has been required with witnesses to date. Uh, I refer you to the proposal we made back in August, a specific plan that included time for all witnesses remaining to be heard in the case, which is E218-2.2. E uh, if you look at those time estimates, you will see that our, our estimates have worn out to be uh, quite accurate. But more importantly, you set the limits. Uh, you can decide that 11 days is too much, that we really only need nine days, or you can decide that we need a few more days than 11. That is your power to set the time and the schedule. And uh, I think that responds uh, to uh, everything that uh, the defense said, so unless the chamber has any more questions, uh, I will see the floor to the uh, civil parties. Okay. Your Honour, just very quickly, in response to uh, Council Michael Carnivus' submissions, um, well, firstly, this is not a hearing about the characterisation of experts or, or factual witnesses, and I don't think it's very useful to the Chamber for Council to be speculating about the willingness or not of expert witnesses to attend to give evidence. Yesterday, uh, Council Carnivus also uh, suggested that Your Honours in the trial chamber have absolute discretion in respect of decisions on severance. And in fact, he reiterated just now that you have unfettered discretion in relation to the whole of the closing order. But Council also now says that he might not accept a decision of the trial chamber if the plan or outline or the reasons don't suit his client and that nothing can proceed until a full and reasoned decision is given. We are now in a position of compromise. Efficiency and trial management needs to be balanced with the rights of all parties, including the rights of the civil parties to have a final determination in case two. Of course, as uh, my learned colleague, the international lead civil party lawyer, submitted yesterday, or the day before rather, in an ideal world, yes, all of case two would be tried before you and the victims would have a voice and have their stories heard and be given the opportunity to raise in a public forum the atrocities which they have experienced. But we are in a position of compromise now, all things considered, and all of these things need to be balanced. In relation to counsel for Kyo Song Fong's uh, submissions regarding the, tea, the trial chamber's memo of the 8th of January, E236-4, I reiterate and uh, concur with the submissions made by the learned prosecutors, emphasizing that the trial chamber encouraged expert examination to be focused on matters within the first trial. Encouraged 
It is extremely difficult for the civil parties to see the logic in council submissions that, and I'm speaking about uh, Council Michael Carnivus, that it would provide the most expeditiousness to try the whole of case two, when in the same submissions, council says, and I quote, we will contest everything, we will object. And this was just in relation to the admission of documents in case one relating to S21. Those are the submissions I have in rebuttal. Just, just un mot supplémentaire sur les transcripts puisque je l'avais euh, annoncé tout à l'heure. Votre chambre a rendu une décision sur les transcripts en 2005, le comprendre, qui a dit 96, la Et votre chambre a motivé cette décision en expliquant de quel sujet est le numéro 1. Donc j'entends la défense indiquer qu'il y a des contestations sur les transcripts. Envisage de faire des euh, objections sur les transcripts. Il faudra quand même que ces contestations aillent au-delà de ce que la Chambre a déjà tranché. Comme Vous avez déjà pris une décision sur un certain nombre de points. Il n'est pas question, me semble-t-il, c'est comme ça que je comprends une décision de justice. De reconstituer ce qui a déjà été tranché. Il est clair que tout ce qui a contestation à venir sur les transcripts est une contestation de ce que vous avez déjà tranché, Merci. Merci. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, we have nothing to read in substance to say that we do appreciate the words of the co-prosecutors. Thank you. 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 Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'll speak slowly. Uh, perhaps <coughs> some is being lost even in the English language to the English speakers. First, let me be clear so the prosecution knows exactly where we stand. When I indicated that we could begin immediately, that is, a week from this Monday, I believe it would be March 4th. And we would lose no time. We would not have to reschedule those who are already scheduled. Is that a basis that we try the entire case? That you would not have to wait time writing a decision and try to figure out a plan. So I felt that it is crystal clear that we would be able to do it. Second of all, my colleagues and the civil parties would seem to have misunderstood what I said. I felt that it was crystal clear. You have unfettered discretion to try the entire case. The Supreme Court has not said that you cannot try zero to two. They have no authority to do that. They have not said that. And the civil parties ought to know that. So you have no discretion. Now, should you choose not to try the entire zero to two, okay? Then you will have to go to option one or option two. And while in option two, the Supreme Court said has not said that you need to come up with a plan. We submit you still have to come up with a plan because in this system, unlike the Anglo-Saxon system, you cannot simply dismiss counts and to suggest that they could be either suspended indefinitely while someone enjoys the right 
right to an expeditious trial. It is nonsense. 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 Perhaps I was misunderstood. Perhaps I didn't know what my function was as a defense lawyer. Yes, I appeared to be reasonable, to be cooperative, to be assistant, but I thought I am here as my client's champion. I am here to make sure that he gets a fair trial. This is what he said. I am entitled to use the rules and the procedures and to suggest that I am here to make sure that he gets a fair trial. That I should just come into court with bended knee, seeking some sort of justice, 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 His theory, but and then to expect uh, uh, the insurance defense team to come in and say yes, had we accept that testimony without challenge. That would be, in my humble submission, ineffective assistance of counsel. I should lose my license. Should I come and defend a client this way? And I, I dare say, I hope other defense lawyers uh, do not do that. Now. How can I say we will object to everything and ask for an expeditious trial? What I'm suggesting is we're losing a lot of time and we've lost a lot of ground figuring out where the contours are. Yes, our clients are of an advanced age. But we can proceed a week from Monday to hearing the evidence. That's what expeditions mean. And then we need to respond to that word. We need to respond to that word. How do we justify and how does the Supreme Court chamber justify parking the rest of the closing order? And at the same time, a fair expeditiousness is schizophrenic. So, when I speak of expeditiousness, I'm talking about the entire case. And yesterday, we heard a rather eloquent, a rather eloquent, a rather eloquent argument from the Kusum Pong team. When they were talking about តាមពិតគឺសម្លួរសម្លើយតបនេះគឺបំណងឲ្យឆ្លើយតបតែចំណុចចុងក្រោយប៉ុណ្ណោះប៉ុន្តែលើវដោយថាយើងបានអនុវ
the prosecution had a focused approach, I'm sure they would find a way to try the entire case within an expeditious time frame. And as I was indicated, er, as I indicated earlier, and you have unfettered discretion to say, since the Supreme Court, in the infinite wisdom, at this stage of the proceedings, in light of what is going on, in light of all the other factors, I know your severance order, and I know that you have unfettered discretion to say, since the Supreme Court, in the infinite wisdom, we are back to square one. There is no severance order. Now, if the prosecution then one wishes to make another submission seeking severance, well, they can have at it. But you, within your rights, you are seized with this trial. So you can begin to try the entire case. And we say that do so. And as far as raising other objections, when circumstances change, even where matters may have been ruled upon, if the circumstances require a legal objection or a procedural objection, not one that is frivolous, not one that is repetitive. But if the circumstances so require, I can assure the trial chamber that the English defense team will not hesitate to file submissions. I think the record is rather clear. That we file submissions whenever we think it is necessary to have something resolved or to make a proper judicial record. Then we take to heart that issues that have already been ruled upon that need not be addressed. We will not readdress them. We have been rather challenged with matters that we think need to be challenged in our approach. That we think need to be challenged. And where uh, issues have been resolved, and where we are the opinion, have been resolved satisfactorily to our belief of what the law and procedure is. We choose to accept them and move on. Such as, to give just a one minor example, your order to sever the case. We accepted it. We supported it. And then, when the prosecution moved for reconsideration. We parted ways with the prosecution because of the manner in which they wished for you to sever the case. And I believe I've answered everything that uh, was said by, the, by both parties on the other side. Thank you. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Juste deux petites mises au Premièrement, sur la question des témoins Becker et Short, nous voyons maintenant que du côté de l'autre côté de la barre, on vous dit que le mémorandum que j'ai cité en date de janvier 2018 ne faisait qu'encourager les équipes à se focaliser sur l'objet du deuxième procès. C'est oublié que j'avais également indiqué qu'en plus d'encourager les parties à se concentrer Concentré sur le deuxième procès, euh, par ce mémorandum, votre chambre réduisait de 20 euh, si nous passions de 5 à 4 jours sur ce qui était prévu pour ce témoin. Et quand vous êtes un avocat de la défense, que vous devez préparer l'interrogatoire d'un témoin, que vous encourage à vous focaliser sur euh, le procès tel qu'il est défini ce jour-là, et que l'on diminue encore le temps pendant lequel vous allez pouvoir contre-interroger ce témoin, qu'est-ce que vous faites Bien naturellement, vous comprenez qu'il va falloir vous l'aider à préparer et à questionner ce témoin sur l'objet du procès tel qu'il était défini au 8 janvier 2013. Donc je pense que 
Il faut arrêter maintenant devant cette chambre de jouer sur les mots et de faire du bricolage. Nous vous demandons quelque chose de simple, une décision claire, posant des principes simples, garantissant nos droits et nous avançons. Ensuite, deuxième mise au point, ma consoeur pour les parties civiles, euh, féminine euh, de prétendre euh, qu'une décision man, euh, le euh, a, aurait déjà été prise euh, par votre chambre euh, sur euh, la, euh, la, question, euh, euh, la dernière question de, de votre euh, mémorandum, euh, 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 à savoir euh, 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 l'admission des transcrits euh, 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 du procès euh, de M. Douk. Euh, euh, effectivement, euh, votre chambre a posé des critères des critères sur l'admissibilité des déclarations écrites au bien sûr, à partir de de nous vérifier s'il nous semble que ces critères sont remplis et quand nous disons que nous, nous, allons, euh, nous, nous réservons la possibilité de contester et bien sûr, c'est pour cela que nous, équipe de Kyushan Pan, nous parlons. ដល់អាស្រ័យហើយនឹងហើយបាននឹងបាញ់មកនេះខ្ញុំងើបឡើងដើម្បីនិយាយក្នុងករណីហ្នឹងវត្រូវជំទាស់យើងជំទាស់ <cười>
bắt nông niệm niệm chỉ bật thiên nơi kiếp rùm mộc ỏi chắc cầm nơi ông chân um địa là tập bông từng ó sôm thay anh mộc côn nơi kiếp phù rò mà tệ dữ bờ nương sa rana đã bắt phe kỳ phe pon đại ban lược lai nơi nông sạm na ca ni cày đã pi sạm na ca ni tứ ông chấm đẹp là tập bông nương chênh nơi tự đây tập rải chỉ lệ so muối đại sục cất đại miền tập ăn hết chẹt lẽ bình linh cực quan nông pil sâm trộm hàng mộc ỏi chập bằng phốt nam để ai chơi tự ban ông Pi bị sa lập hiệp nơi dân ông Rướng, sản phẩm thơ sạm nạc cá, nơi đầm nạc cá đầm bông, đời bị cha rắn lừa mua được than, nơi cô ca nơi non tiền lái, đại miền những ao bằng hai những không có đầy dầm rách cho bò, ông chuyển luôn về là cá gặp pú, cho ngày thì bấm bay khai công phe trên năm pi bọt đỏ bay, đại ban dầm rách lừa mà đang sa tục liền phuyết bò, bà sa phi nhá bà chăng đang sa đầy dầm rách cho bò, ông chuyển ra là tập bông, sa đầy pi ca cầm nót bị sa lập hiệp nơi dân ông Rướng sôn sôn pi sa sôn mùi ai cái sa y mà rồi học số bảy sáu mươi tám sáu mươi sáu đập bảy nâng rùm mình châu nơi mà tệ dục bỏ nâng sa rana tiền lái để bảo vệ ký để vẽ bòn ai cả cầm nót cả bảy chai sản phẩm kinh đức hoa tang sản phẩm sắc khay cắm nẹt dầm niên sạ sấy dầm nuôn pi rùm hay nâng sạ sấy dầm nuôn buồn rùm đôi để ăn dầm rẻ bàn xong ao vẽ ký bàn phát đòn mà tệ dục bỏ nơi trăng dầm nồi bảy này cả ta khăn anh u sơn nát bỏ ông dùng rác cho thay thì đọc bổn buôn khai cùng phe cho nam pi pon đọc bổn bấy pi pon đọc bấy ông dùng rác nâng cầm nót bàn chẹn được cao bảy chai lơ bánh hà nè nơi thay sai bánh hà tha cà sấp tập khay cam sạ xây nâng nẹt chìm niên tiếng nè cà rói bì bình chọc sạp na ca nít chứ nâng buôn pì lòng đẹp sờ lá bông chanh sợi dầm rách lơ bì sa lập hiệp nơi dầm rách bẹ pon nâng sa lập hiệp đầm na ca đầm bông nè chẳng cứ ông dùng đây mình toàn bàn ai dùng đây bàn tiền được tiền đi đây là miền là bảy hà chỉ chờ đợi nơi mình từ sòng say đối với ông dùng đây nâng dọc bảy hà này từ bình định chờ đợi ná nâng dùng đây hay nâng dùng đây chun kỳ kỳ bẹ bón ông pi cao bảy hai môn pi ông dùng đây chân sẽ đi dùng đây lừa chỉ mấy hay nâng cao pi bị chọc sập na can đi từ hay ông chỉ biết bậc cao bắt sạm na ca đi trầm đi hay chậm đấy sạm na ca ông cái đấy nước ông chậm đấy nâng chậm điệp chun đối ông chậm đấy bàn chậm điệp chun đối hai thà pi bị lia xong trọc hàng mốc ông chậm đấy nâng bật to thưa sạm na ca thà đập bị đứt phát táng rồi to thật tiệt hay ông chậm đấy bậc cao ở anh nội em thì không kháng non luôn chun chập chót trong pi rúp cứ lục yên giờ đi nâng lục khi thầm phón ta lập được căn mà thì không kháng này ở bờ ta có với cho hay chậm đấy ai cả bằng cọp anh làm luôn hoặc quạt chôm rùm để không cần chậm lại cả sam na ca nhập về hàng mốc ông chậm đây nâng bằng cọp sai chật mày xem lại cho